Okay, so a while back, the Wound Channel tested the Armorware AR680, <laughs> AR680, Level 3 Plus plate, and the owner of Armorware got his panties in a real twist. Uh, his main complaint was that the Wound Channel used a 22-inch barrel and Independence M193 clone, rather than actual 20-inch barrel and actual Lake City M193, as if that really matters. His other complaint was that the impact velocity was 60 feet per second faster than the company claimed the plate could stop rounds at. Uh, now, personally, I, I would prefer that personal protective equipment have a larger margin of safety than 60 feet per second, but I guess it's technically a fair argument. So let's go ahead and hit the AR680 plate with a 20-inch barrel, M193, Lake City M193. Let's see how it does. Three, two, five, eight. Well, I think that settles it. <laughs> There's the entrance. Here's where it came out. If the high speed left any sort of doubt in your mind at all. Okay, so first, that proves that there's statistically no difference between the Wound Channel's test and my test using a 20-inch barrel with actual M193. The velocity was within the standard deviation of M193 ammo anyway. I'll put a link to the Wound Channel's test in the description. You should head on over and check that out when you're done here. So what does that mean? Does that mean that the plate is total garbage? Well, I mean, not exactly. I'm sure it can stop some ammunition. Let's hit it with M855 from a 20-inch barrel. Three, one, eight, one. Wow, you can can't even tell where it hit. You can see a little good dent right here. Don't know how well that's showing up on video. That oh, there it is. There's that tiny little pinhole. Is the fragmentation coating held up. I mean. It's not too hard to stop M855, so it's not all that impressive, but I guess it does that okay. Okay, so, you know, it does work, you know, it, it is armor, uh, but does it do what we would expect it to do for what it's called? See, you'll notice that I use some fairly careful terms there because it's not, well, it's not an NIJ rated plate. And level 3 plus isn't an NIJ rating. You know, technically, you could slap a level 3 plus sticker on a cardboard box and you wouldn't be lying to anybody. Level 3 plus doesn't really mean anything. It's used as an industry term just to say that it that a plate conforms with level 3 standards and a little bit more. 
Now, a lot of us take it to mean that it should stop M193 when fired from a 20 inch barrel because a lot of other manufacturers level three plus plates do that. Um, AR500 Armors level three plus plate and Spartan Armor Systems level three plus plate both stopped M193 when fired from a 20 inch barrel. Okay, so it doesn't stop M193 from a 20 inch barrel, but it does stop M855. I'm sure it does conform to level three standards. It's not that hard to stop M80 762 by 51 at 2,780 feet per second to meet the NIJ level three standard. Um, so I'm sure it does, and I'll go ahead and do that and cross my I's and dot my T's, but there's a lot of other shenanigans going on with this plate. It can't possibly actually be an AR680. Um, a, what AR680 would mean is that it's abrasion resistant, and the number is the Brunel hardness rating. Now, 680 is a ridiculous hardness rating. And maybe we can get somebody to test it. I, I think Buffman might have already tested it. We'll have to ask him. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I've got a lot of other tests coming up with this plate. If you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see tested, make sure you leave them in the comments below. If you're not following me on Facebook, and if you do the Faces Book thing, then maybe you should head on over there because I often post pictures and stuff of the tests that I've done or I'm about to do, and you can see a little bit more insight into some of the tests that I do. Again, thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. You guys have a great day. Thank you.